Hello everyone and welcome to my TWE T-Log and today I'm going to in the morning and we're getting ready for UK PonyCon today! Yay! At 7.30 we're gonna have our breakfast but you know it's better to be early than late isn't it? <laughs> but uh, I brought my plushies which are minty and my newest one Songbird Songbird Serenade wasn't she great in the movie? Yeah, she was actually pretty great. Even though she's not technically a bird, but how would you got her name? That's an interesting question. How did she get her name? Because um, birds sing, don't they? <laughs> really? Really? This is what I have to put up with. <laughs> yeah. But um, this, is, this is the thing we'll be doing. Um, in UK PonyCon called uh, Pony Discussion and at the moment we're talking about the movie when, what, what we... I've read two chapters, I've read, read two of... I've read the prologue in chapter one Of from the Tempest? Movie. Yeah And? I was tempted I was tempted <laughs> uh, Yeah, I just, I just read it just because I need something to read Yeah I mean, I, I was going to read the... Then, the, it, when I was reading it, I was thinking, which uh, season space around? Because they're only mentioned, or oh, maybe a spoiler, mm. three princes of all. That can't be right. Yeah, that can't I mean, be right. Celestia, Luna and Caden. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe a bit bigger different. They didn't have Twilight as an anicorn at that time. Or she would know about them. Hmm. Is it the movie book or is it it's the a movie, book? It's a movie book. It's a movie book. It's a Tempest book. But ah. it only mentions Cadence, Luna and Celestia. Yeah. She doesn't know about Twilight or, or Floyd Hart. I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. Something's... This must be, must be set around season two when she was young. Or when yes. she was younger. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, yes. see, this is what we do, theories. But the thing is, though, I've actually read the book and I can't really tell him what actually happened. No, so no. He has to figure out that on his own, I'm afraid. Yeah. He has to find out by himself. Yeah, watch one, let's say, and find out the plot. But as for me, when I watch the movie, oh, no way, no way. The, the book made a prediction. What do you mean? You made your you made a prediction. No, the book made a prediction. Oh right, it's it's creepy. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but it, I think it made a prediction. On the on the what song is... on the song, open your eyes. Yeah. And when it showed the doodles of um, um, Tempest Philly Hood. Yeah. That's when it comes in. Right. And we, I can say the references at least. I was getting a Never Ending Story reference. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's an old 80s movie if you haven't seen it. Hmm. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it now. So. Uh, Final Fantasy, because there are, there are um, airships in Final Fantasy, but hmm. I keep thinking of a movie when there's been airships before. What, what movies have had Zeppelins? The Hindenburg. Hindenburg? There's no movie about the Hindenburg, come on. Uh, maybe a short film. <laughs> yeah, a short film. Oh, serious. Yeah, of, of, the, of the crash. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe, um, that's, maybe that's time for research. 
Well, there was also a re reference to um, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe as well. I was getting that vibe. Yeah. Because I, when was it? Was it when they entered the castle? No, it was when they went to the hippogriffs. Thank you. Yeah, and also, I was also trying to so when, I, when I came out of the cinema, I was trying to think of the name, the, what what they were. And they're the hippogriffs. When they went to the hippogriff city, everything yeah. was made of stone. Oh, if you think, I'm talking about the movie version. Not Thank you, uh, Liam Neeson, for that. Great um, advice by uh, Aslan. <laughs> ah, I haven't seen this movie. The Three Musketeers. All for one and one for all, yeah, the the Griffins as the pirates, isn't it? D right, the video is not available, but... Ah, hmm. but, okay, and, the, the and the pirates were the musketeers, basically. Well, the more, yeah. they were, they were more... Well, they were the, acting like the musketeers, yeah, yeah, because, you know, with the sword fighting and that. Other movies, according to thing, got the Hindenburg... No, there's a film that... The Hindenburg, Hindenburg, because of the crash. Um, yeah. There's called, something called The Separate in the 70s. Master of the Worlds, the island of the top of the worlds, yeah. the Red Trent. Where's that Stoke? Yeah. <laughs> um, what is it, Nottingham? <laughs> you get your socks in stocks. You get all you get the socks in Stockport, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what I can say is, the disappointment for me on that movie was the fact of the Storm King. The Storm King wasn't what I expected. I I I was thinking more it would have been um, much like harsher and darker because he's he's the big cheese of you know the villain side of the movie and acting like a little kid. You know, just because he's the Storm King and he like makes big storms. Yeah, yeah, it looks it looks um like he, the, the role in the beginning, but it's lucky we didn't storm out. <laughs> it's lucky we didn't storm out. <laughs> Seriously. Because yeah, I say that because pretty much because of his voice. Yes. Because was it it's like, it's like on Mag was no, it was like, I don't know, I, I don't want to be, um, no. And there's some episodes where it, the voice doesn't match the character. I can't remember, I think there's some in this yeah. season, but I can't remember where, but. Yeah, then, me neither, yeah. I can't put my head around it now. But if you if you know anything, any, any characters that were, um, off place. Uh, Sparrow said that the cadence did not sound like the V8. He thought he thought it did not have a V8. And mm -hmm. Luna as well. Luna Luna was a bit off place, yeah. Yeah. She sounded a bit like Pepper in Little <laughs> <laughs> Spetch. And when I saw Luna she, she reminded me of the first Luna we seen in season one. She looked mm. younger for some reason. I think Cecil was was okay. Yeah, she was perfect. I, I think Celestia yeah. was perfect. Yeah. Some people, well, well done, Nicole, for that. <laughs> some people say Twilight was off character. Mm. I'm just saying some. Some or, maybe. Some will have that opinion. But, oh my gosh. Um, I was like, whoa, Twilight, you just... Well, it's, it's not just Twilight, it was Pinkie Pie as well, you know? When, when, when Twilight realised that she made that mistake, she immediately went over to Pinkie Pie and said she was sorry, but then she says, I don't want to talk to you right now, so I like... Yeah. Ah. That is like, a now in the coffin, or now in the chest, so I like... That is so secrets and pies. You know, there's... She... Raven Ash being hated? No. Twilight being hated. And... I was thinking, how would you act in that situation? Mm. Will you be a Pinkie Pie or or would you be Twilight? Or Twilight, find a yeah. Situation, find a solution. But uh, it kind of snow dropped, snowball, snowballed a bit because once she said those words, the other five kind of rebelled against her because of those words. Wow, well, I was thinking not for long. 
Well, not for long. Yeah, it was like, okay, you yeah, might, it you might them as well. But it's like you might be angry at Twilight. But but uh, Apple, Apple, Applejack was the one that real, you know, kind of peace made peace made, with it because she made, was the one who said, "Do you think it's time we talk to Twilight now?" I'm thinking we you think that's where you need to talk for you need to talk this view. Mm. Um, because. That's not how friends were at. Yeah, that's true. But uh, it, was, it was a nice uh, little mermaid reference. I was, uh, we'll did get, you, you was get that? mermaid. We were, I was getting a episode in uh, Aladdin. Yeah, but that that was with the cat, wasn't it? No, Tempest Shadow. Uh, um, oh, when a when a she did a bit of Lion King as well with her song. Yeah. It's, it's like, I'm saving my um, enemy. She's saving her enemies? Well, Tempest at the time. Well, she was the enemy, but yeah, she, I'm she saying, worked for the I was, Storm you know, King. Yeah, it was like, she was saving to let you know, this is what friends do. That, that's like in the episode when... She, she kind of she kind of um, tried to realise that Make, make Twilight realise that the ugly side of friendship. Yeah. But I didn't... Mm, I won't say too much. But, um... Yeah. She, she, she's trying to make tri Twilight realise that friends are not always the answer. Yeah. But, again, when Twilight was really sad by the cliff edge, that was the Little Mermaid. That was a pretty nice Little Mermaid scene, uh, that I one. Just, I just realised. <laughs> It's a similar situation with Starlight and Twilight. Explain. At the, no, the end of season, at the end of sleep. Oh, at the end of season, like, right. The, the map was getting closed, I'm thinking, except friendship. The Ex scroll. The scroll. The sc oh, the scroll, my gosh. Yes. Oh. Yeah, so close to getting torn apart. It was so close to getting oh. torn apart. Yeah. And I was like, is this what friends do? This is what friends do, yeah. Uh, but it was a great movie, though. Oh, I, I was getting a feeling that Storm King or... Yeah, Storm King. Uh, anyway, continue. <laughs> that Storm King, I didn't believe he was going to keep his word about restoring the horn. No. Because, you know, you know what? Say. And also, it's a lesson. You don't need your horn to do great things. And that's what Twilight said to Tempest. Yeah. yeah. You don't. You okay? The horn that she's got now defines who you are. Yeah. And I'm turning into a psychiatrist. <laughs> <laughs> now we need now we need Twilight with the glasses and that rainbow that's on the bench and now explain all your issues about Applejack. Did actually have that fun style though. Yeah. Kind of like the EG version of Twilight on the, the scientist with robe and yeah. well, scientist jacket and the glasses and the yeah. Because uh, I know you don't like. No, uh, I don't. No, I don't. Yeah, but it's I, it's like it's like when Twilight was really upset. I could actually see on her face. It was like the Twilight. Yeah. It was like the EG version of Twilight. Yeah. I I can I can say EG's got some good friendship lessons, but it's the human. It's the human side that you don't like. No. You, it's the lessons may you might apply the real lessons in real life, but mm. the actual EG he doesn't particularly like, and I, I, have, res I have to respect that. Five, five, first, but it was against Lauren Foster's rule yeah. anyway. Yeah. But uh, typically, Hasbro and one writer did not have to listen to it. And McCarthy. Sorry. <laughs> 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, and had to. Um, in time, continue. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, that was another one. Josh Harper. Which is... He does make good episodes, though. He does make great episodes, don't get me wrong. Especially but... the CMC episodes. Yeah. And Castlemania. Yeah. That's... That, that was his first episode. That's where we got the references. Ooh, did you get it? Ooh, yeah. You might get up. You might get up. Right, so that's the... End of our um, pony conversation. We'll be having more. Don't worry. Oh yes. Uh, join me later on. I'll be in the convention itself. 
Oh, yes. yes.